Hey there, before we get started, I saw another YouTuber do this and I really liked it, so I completely and shamelessly ripped it off. <laughs> so, do you find my videos interesting and helpful? If you do, why don't you like and subscribe? If not, why don't you leave me a thumbs down or tell me what you think I should do and maybe we could do that. But, without further ado, let's jump into it. Hello everyone. So i got a quick one for you tonight and I wanted to talk about swimming. So I've seen a few videos on it and people generally say when you want to do swimming you go into your input settings and your project settings. Add a move up in your axis mappings just like there's the move forward and back, move right and left. You do a move up down. Define the buttons you want and then set the scales like you do up here. And then in your blueprint just add your input axis move up and then add movement input based on the actor up vector. This way comes with a little bit of an issue though, so if I jump in the water. When I'm swimming and moving forward, it works. I can go swim up and down, but as soon as I stop and try to move up and down, she'll rotate. No matter which way I'm facing, she always rotates. I've seen other people suggest the fix of get the control rotation and then get the up vector from that. That has its own issue where it works when I'm swimming forward but as soon as I try to swim down she rotates to fix where she's coming from but I have a fix for you that seems to work pretty well so oop. so instead of doing an add movement input up if we do an add impulse to the character movement on the Z vector, so let's plug this in. So you want to make sure if you do an add impulse that you only do it when the character is swimming. Plug in that axis value to the Z, and then if we just increase this instead of being 1 and negative 1, make it 20 and negative 20. Then when I jump in the water, now she swims up and down, no matter which way I'm facing. This, she's floating a little bit because uh, just because this is a quickly put together pool. But yeah, so there's one way you can do swimming up and down without it rotating weirdly in space. So you, you just hook your input axis up to a branch to check to see if the character is swimming and then you add your impulse. If you don't have this branch, your character will basically fly. See? <laughs> now there is another way we can do swimming up and down. This is the way I was doing it in my game. So basically on event tick, I check to see if the character is swimming and if they are, I set their rotation to be the control rotation. So how that looks is basically wherever I look, she rotates to. That pool makes it hard to see. Hang on, let me just get rid of this. So basically, whichever way I'm facing, the character faces, and then I can swim. just like that. Well actually if you're following this along you'll probably just be swimming forward like this even if you're looking down but the way you can fix that is in your input movement input it'll have just this where it's hooked to this get control rotation forward vector and then moving on just the Z but if you add a branch right here if the character is swimming then you just want to move on the in the direction of control rotation completely so that way it'll move on the X, Y, everything. Now for mine I didn't want my character to be able to swim backwards because I didn't have a backwards swimming animation so I just clamped it between 0 and 1 and then set that as the scale value that way she can't swim back but she can swim down, swim up. I added a branch on the left and right just to where if she's swimming she can't move at all so if she's not moving or not swimming then 
move as usual, but if so, then... Because I don't have any side swimming animations either, but... So there's a couple ways you can do some swimming that gets rid of that annoying auto-rotate. I always hated that, but I could, it took me forever to find any fixes for it. But this seems to work out pretty well, so a couple methods for you to try out. And that's it for this one. I'll see y'all soon.